Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have a story to tell you today and just a, with a question at the end of it. It's a, it's kind of a sad story but the, the question, the answer to the question would be a soul lesson I think of invaluable proportions. So I'll tell you a fictitious story. There was a spiritual adept one time, long, long ago. <laughs> there was a spiritual adept who had a friend, a friend who looked up to him greatly. <sighs> and as we all know, everybody has within them, even spiritual adepts have within them, the seeds of, of karmic actions, the samskaras that can spring into life from the black backboard of the unconscious mind into the physical realm, unless we are very cautious about it. But uh, we, the problem is that when we incarnate, we, are, we disremember what our samskaras are. And so as spiritual adepts, we would have to be very, very careful in analysis of our thoughts and feelings to, to come across and to re-remember re our samskaras. So let's suppose that this fictitious person, this, this spiritual adept, had within him the samskara of hatred of women just in, not in acting out form, but just in potential form. Okay. And that by his conversation with his friend, who looked up to him, he imparted that karmic seed to his friend, hatred of women. Or even, say, that they, that they were friends because they shared that samskara. That's possible. Now in the fable that I'm telling, the friend, the friend of the spiritual adept had two problems in the physical realm. One was a tendency to drugs, heavy drug use. And the other was a tendency to prostitute his body, to make a living in that way. And for that reason, the spiritual adept didn't really want him to be around him physically. He wanted him to be away from him and out of his life. Now let's say there was another spiritual adept who was a woman. And this woman, because the, the, the samskara of the male spiritual adept his, was activated in her presence to where he felt um, hatred of her without real reason, no reason for it, just a prenatal tendency from past lifetimes. So, through his hatred, he was attracted to this woman in a negative way. Um, and because samskaras are basically unconscious and we disremember them through incarnation, he didn't know why he was attracted in a hate, hatred kind of a way. So, so this, this, this fictitious person imagined in a left brain kind of a way. Lucy, what? Hold on just a minute. Trouble in the car. <laughs> so, the spiritual adept who was a man thought to himself, why don't I kill two birds with one stone? And he implied or stated to the man that was a friend of his, he said, if you will hunt this woman down with uh, notions of, of psychic rape, then I will love you the better for it. Follow her wherever she goes. And out of friendship, the second man did that. Either on the internet or on the psychic plane or physically, in any way he could, he did his best to fulfill the expectations of the spiritual adept who was a man. Okay. What would happen 
to the karma of these two men and that woman. What would happen to the karma of groups? How would that be affected? Consider, considering the glom effect and the and the effect of leaders have on their on their groups. What would be the effect of all that? What would be the effect on the woman? What would happen to her? So I'm asking you to look at this stuff and imagine in your own mind, place yourself in that situation and try to figure out the answer to that puzzle. Or if you find yourself in a different karmic trap, look at that with the same neutral witnessing, with the same dispassionate stance. Consider to yourself, what is the soul lesson to be learned from that? How can I align my mind and heart and soul with God? How can I get past this karmic lesson by learning the lesson? That's what I think. Whenever we find ourselves in, in these kinds of boxes, there's a great benefit to be gained and a great wisdom to be learned. <laughs> I'm still looking at myself along these lines and trying to figure out what's what, and trusting that God will come up with the answer. Well, so, long-winded, a little boring. Love you all very much.